Hi everyone, welcome back to Infinity Platter. This week I'm going to take you to five tapas places which I feel every tourist or rather everyone must go to when they come to Barcelona. It can't get more local than this. My goal is to take you and show you all the local and real places so I can make your Barcelona food life more delicious, easier and extremely memorable. Our first stop is Kimet Kimet. Founded in 1914, Kimet Kimet is known to be one of the best known tapas bars in Barcelona. It's the perfect atmosphere for a quick snack and a drink. The walls are filled with hundreds of wine bottles and they make some really good beer and vermouth. They are specialists in can preserves, so all the dishes here are served cold. That is their hallmark and what makes them unique. You can take a look at the menu and order what you like or you can ask the waiter for some advice and you will surely be surprised. They don't take reservations, so what I like to do is when my friends and I want to have a fun night out, we come here first sharp at 6 p.m. and have one or two delicious hout vermouths and with some montaditos, which are tiny toasts topped with various toppings and then move on to the next place for the night. Let our tapas tour begin. Hola. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to be here. Thanks. Can you tell us a little bit about Kimet Kimet? Somos un local que hace 108 años que estamos aquí y es familiar. Eh, mi hermana y yo somos la quinta generación y ahí encontráis a mi padre que es la cuarta. Y a partir de ahí siempre ha sido taberneo. Trabajamos con conservas, todo es producto enlatado, todo es producto frío y hacemos el mix de ingredientes al momento. Nice. So when people come here, what are the what are the most popular dishes that they have? Trabajamos sobre todo el salmón con yogur y miel mm -hmm. trufada, que es la especialidad es de la casa. Favorita. Y una de las tapas más importantes de la casa ahora mismo es los nísperos con anchoas y torta del casal. Y una combinación de crema de vinagre que hacemos nosotros. Mm -hmm. Y a partir de ahí también encontramos el bacalao, que es fresco, es fácil de comer. La sardina, un clásico de aquí de Barcelona también. Mm -hmm. Y el de mejillones y caviar que no puede faltar en la mesa. Oh, nice. I can't wait to eat all of them. Thank you. <laughs> So guys, haven't you seen this wonderful spread? I'm going to enjoy this with my friends and I'll see you at the next part. We're now at La Coa Fumada, a tapas bar where the famous bomba was invented. There's no name outside this beloved local joint, so how do you find it? Just come to the market square of Barceloneta and head to the place with the biggest queue outside. Open since 1944, La Coa Fumada continues to preserve the essence of Barceloneta, a fishing district. So if you love seafood, there's never a lack of fresh fish on the menu. So let's check it out. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Ah, contanos un poco su, sobre tu restaurante. Mis abuelos empezaron en 1945. Tenemos cuatro generaciones ya. Empezamos a hacer un bar, un bar muy, muy entrañable por la gente del barrio, de pescadores, uh -huh. 
he trabajado desde el puerto. Eh, mi abuela fue la, fu la inventora de la bomba, uh -huh. es una patata con un poco de alioli, un poco de salsa picante. Con el tiempo la gente descubrió que la tapa caliente aquí era importante porque antes todo eran tapas frías. Eh, ¿Qué tapas? Tapas, tapas. Bah. Todas son del día, todas son del día. Está la bomba, está la cachofa en temporada de invierno, cachofa es fantástica. Sardina fresca de la playa, caballa fresca de la playa, calamar, plancha. Bacalao, es desalado por nosotros, guisado por nosotros y comido por vosotros. <laughs> y esta es la historia de. Perfecto. I'm so excited to try it. <laughs>
ask someone on the street if they want to join us for a free meal. Let's see well, how it goes. Hey. Hey. Hi, do you speak English? Okay, so I'm a YouTuber and I'm doing a, a video on my five, I mean five tapas places which I feel everyone should eat at. Would you like to join us for a free meal? That would be awesome. Yeah? Oh, it. lovely. Let's go. I didn't get your name. I'm Ash. I'm Lauren. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. This is my YouTube channel and take <laughs> So guys, we finished our lovely meal. The food was incredible. Actually, my favorite was the mushroom carpaccio with the strawberry and wasabi sauce. It was yummy and it's vegetarian. So they do have some really good vegetarian options too. And I'd like to say thanks to Lauren for joining us. It was a lovely meal. I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to have a nice meal with them. It was great. <laughs> Thank you for saying yes. I love it when people have the energy and the, the intention to have new experiences. Because that's how you know we meet and have such fun times together. So nice. We're going to have some dessert. I want to talk to you about this. So this is ratafia. Um, a liqueur made with herbs. And then we're having it with carquinoles which is another famous uh, biscuit here. So I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you at the next part. Ciao! Continue our tapas adventure at yet another local favorite and one of my personal favorites, El Champagnat. A cozy yet buzzing bar serving traditional tapas and kava. This place is perfect to come at any point of day. Breakfast, midday snack, lunch or the first place before a big night out. We're going to eat so much food, have so much kava, have some delicious desserts and then you'll see why this is one of my favorites. Let's go check it out. Hi Laura, I'm so happy to be here. Hello. Yes. So what dishes are you giving us today? Well, first of all to start, I'm going to give you some anchovies, which is the speciality of the house. Okay. Um, like my great grandma like started selling anchovies like in the in the 30s when they opened the bar. So this is like the typical typical dish of the house. Okay. Then to drink, I'm going to give you sparkling wine, champagne. That this was a new incorporation in the 60s and that's what gives us the name of this place. Mm -hmm. Most of them are like recipes of my grandma. Oh, how nice. Yes, like, um, like the omelette, it's her style. We make it like really nice, well, like classical Spanish omelette. I'm going to give you some of these. Okay. My grandma's pasta, my grandma's recipe with a lot of love. Aww. Um, a Catalan sausage del Perol, typical okay. from the north of Catalonia. Mm -hmm. That we make with a little mash of like celeriac, delicious. It melts in your mouth. Um, some chickpeas to accompany it. Um, what else I'm gonna give you? Um, there's old school eggs. Later we make like potato puree, sobrasada, and a poached and fried egg. Oh, that's Mix it delicious. aphrodisiac. aphrodisiac oh, oh yes, yes. nice. I'm gonna offer you some of the hot dishes that most of them are like recipes of our grandma. This is my sister. Where are you? Where are you? Come here. Yeah, my sister. Hi, Hello. nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's here, what's your favorite dish here? Tough question. What? Ah, the omelette. The codfish omelette. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay. It's actually really good. We do okay. it like not bad. No. Well, I cannot say. I know. Say <laughs> the clients can tell. Yes. I'm sure they're delicious. The whole place is full. Yes. Yeah, I know. I don't know what we give, but yeah, we are the fourth generation. You and make food with love, that's what you give. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> bueno. How oh, nice. I'm Thank so you. excited to eat all the food. Sorry. But like, I'm excited for you to try it as me well. Me too, me too. Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah.
We can dig in. I'm sorry for making you wait for so long, but go ahead. Go ahead. Sure, why not? Ash, 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 so comforting and the butifarra is so soft and so is the puree is so creamy oh i love such reactions it is really good no i love it I've already finished eating my dessert, but I came back to tell you that do not leave this place without trying their shusho and the chocolate truffles with olive oil and sea salt. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> So to end our week in style, we're at our final stop at Bar Kenyate, an upscale tapas place which is reputed to be one of the best local joints. This place has some of my all-time favorite dishes like duck cannelloni, beef with foie gras, lobster croquetas and so much more. Oof, I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Yes, even after all the tapas we've eaten all week. So let's not delay any further, let's get our feast going. Welcome to Channel Infinity Plater from Cañete. I am speaking in Spanish, it's more easy for me, okay? But this here is translation my discourse, okay? <laughs> es, es, un, es un bar de referencias ahora mismo en Barcelona. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué? <laughs> ¿Qué platos vamos a comer hoy? Bueno, pues eh, la segunda parte de los platos que vamos a realizaros para que probéis es un chipirón mm. de playa fresco salteado mm -hmm. con judía de Santa Pau, que es uno de los clásicos. Seguiremos con un filete de vaca vieja con foie. Este es mi favorito. Que creo que te gusta bastante. Uh -huh. Y una salsa de trufas con un fondo de patata hecha a la plancha, nada de fritura. Es espectacular. Y también, por supuesto, el rabo de toro guisado con el puré de patatas y el pango gratinado. Esos serán los tres platitos que vamos a comer aquí hoy. Mi favorito también y um, después canelón. Que, después canelón. creo que sí, después, posiblemente también te traiga el canelón para que lo podáis disfrutar en, en el canal. Y previamente pues he hecho la ensalada de judía verde, que es uno de los platos que más se consigue estar en, en primera orden, en, tanto en invierno como en verano, que es complicado porque las ensaladas en invierno no pegan mucho y sin embargo la ensalada de judía verde con parmigiano es un plato que sale tanto en verano como en invierno. Ok, guys, these are some of my favorite dishes here and I can't wait for you to try them, so dig in. It looks so good, actually. This is your. This is what you've been wanting to try, duck cannelloni. That's it for our tapas video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said earlier, my goal is to show you the best places around Barcelona so when you do come here, you don't get caught in the tourist trap restaurants and eat in only the best places possible because Barcelona has so much to offer. And when you do come here and eat in some or all of the tapas places that I showed you, send me pictures or tag me in your pictures and that will make my day. So we're going to enjoy our desserts and I'll leave you now and I'll see you next week.